I'm going to share with you an easy way to tell when your peppers in pots need watering. And we're starting right now. What's going on guys? My name is John. Welcome to another video. If it is your first time here and you want to learn more about sustainable gardening, gardening tips and tricks, and other gardening related stuff, start right now by clicking the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on a thing. Alright guys, so we are back. We are here in the backyard garden. We are taking a look at some pepper plants in pots and we're wanting to know how to know when it's time to water them. I get this question a lot on Facebook and on my YouTube channel about when it's time to water your plants. People ask me, when do I water? People ask me, how much do I water? People just ask, I've got the answer for you. Alright guys, so when it comes to watering your plants, the first thing you want to think about is how you have them planted. Do you have them planted in pots? Do you have them planted in raised beds? Or do you have them planted just in the ground? That's the first thing you gotta consider when it's time to think about a watering schedule. Each one of those has a different amount of water that's on hand for their growing. And what I mean by that is, guys, a plant that's planted directly in the ground is not gonna need the same amount of watering as a plant that's planted in a pot. Pots, like the ones behind me, are smaller, less area to hold moisture in. So when it comes to watering your plants in pots, you want to let them tell you when to water. Okay, so how do they tell you when it's time to water? Peppers like a little bit of stress. And what that means is, is once they start drying out, once their soil starts drying out, they will let you know by their leaves will begin to wilt. This wilting of the leaves is actually a visual cue for us, the gardeners, to know when it's time to water. Wait until this point before you water your plants. Doing so will help you not overwater your plants. Overwatering is one of the most common things that can destroy your hopes of having a productive vegetable garden. After watering your plant, allow the plant to wilt a little bit more before you water again. So make sure when watering your plants to do it regularly, meaning once or twice a week, depending on how you're growing them, but don't be afraid to let it wilt a little bit. It's their way of telling you when they need water. All right guys, so when it comes time to water, you wanna take your hose, you wanna put it right over the pot and use the hose on a, like a shower setting. You can just put the hose in the pot, but simply water the pot until the pot fills all the way up to the top of water. Now what this does is it allows the pot to take on as much water as possible. Once you filled it up to that top level, let it let it drain on its own, let it soak in on its own. If water's coming out the bottom holes, you know that the pot is thoroughly soaked. Doing this will allow the pot to take on as much water as it needs without overwatering. Too much watering will cause your plant to end up dropping its leaves. Sometimes it'll turn yellow and it'll eventually end up causing your plant to not produce. And simply before you water it again, allow the plant to wilt just a little bit. This will cause you to have a much healthier plant in the long run, will in turn give you a much healthier and larger harvest of peppers. Hey, be sure to check out the YouTube playlist in the card above for more on how to grow peppers in pots. And if you want to learn more about sustainable gardening, gardening tips and tricks, and other gardening related stuff, definitely start now by clicking the round subscribe icon below. Make sure to click the bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks everyone for watching and I will see you in the next video.